guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys Jelly Bean for the Galaxy Nexus. Now, there are three different versions of Jelly Bean for the Galaxy Nexus. I'm going to show you uh, the very the Nera Bean version, and they're all basically the same. This is just stock Jelly Bean uh, that has been made to work for the Galaxy Nexus. This is the Verizon version, but it's also available now for the GSM version and the Sprint Galaxy Nexus versions. Of course, the very first thing that you'll notice here is Project Butter. Uh, that just increases the speed of the ROM. And you can see just how fast it flies through the home screens. If you go into the app drawer, you can see just how quickly it does get through the app drawer. Um, this thing just looks and feels a whole lot quicker than ice cream sandwich. You'll feel like you have a brand new phone, or at least I know I do. Now, quadrant scores, I know that they did the Project Butter, uh, but I'm only getting about 1,900 on quadrant scores. So I know one ice cream sandwich, especially when the uh, CPU is overclocked, you can get up to you know, almost up to 3,000 on some of your quadrant scores. Uh, this is not overclocked. This is still at 1.2 gigahertz. We'll go ahead and jump into About Phone. So go to Settings and About Phone. And you can see the Android version there is 4.1. And the build number is JRN84D. Now it is running the stock Android kernel. Uh, which is fine. I believe I'm Mozion is working on a lean kernel and Franco already has his Franco kernel. It's already available uh, for this build. And just once again, we'll look at the speed and fluidity of the ROM. Now this does come with several new features. If you go into Google, uh, you're going to have an updated Google Plus, uh, which gives you a what's hot and it shows you your circles and then people that are nearby. And it just kind of has a new UI a new look and feel which is really cool. Some other features here include uh, all new wallpapers. If you go to the wallpapers you will now have uh, all of your Jelly Bean wallpapers. And notifications have all been uh, made. They, they, they just look and feel a little bit better. Uh, they have some extra features here so on your notifications you have a two finger gesture so you can pull the notifications up or you can pull them down. You can also access your settings and you can clear them all together. Now another really cool feature of this ROM is that Google Voice has been updated and you can do a whole lot more now with Google Voice. It's more Siri-like and to me in my experience it's actually faster than Siri but it can do all the same things. Uh, so with this just being a brand new thing, uh, not many people have Jelly Bean and so it is going to be faster because there's not that many people on the server but I'll go ahead and give you guys a little preview here movie times for the Avengers and there you have it and we could do one more what's the weather like and a pulls up the weather and it's going to talk back to you. It doesn't sound very robotic. It actually sounds pretty natural, uh, which is really cool. I like that feature a lot. And if we go back home, uh, we'll get back into some of the Google apps here. Uh, I've showed you guys Google Plus. The Play Store is slightly updated for Jelly Bean. It doesn't look that much different here, uh, but it just has some new features as far as like your movies your books and your magazines. It'll have all that there because Jelly Bean is really all about the Play Store experience on that Nexus 7. Which by the way I ordered two of those yesterday so one of those will be given away eventually. Probably when we hit 5,000 subscribers so you guys know to make that happen. YouTube has also been updated. It also has a new UI, a new look and feel which I'm really liking a whole lot. So you can go directly to your channel feed and it's gonna bring up all of your new videos that have been uploaded by those people that you're subscribed to. If you click up here it's going to bring you all of the channels that you're subscribed to uh, plus all of uh, the different genres of YouTube videos there as well and then of course you can go directly to your own account. So it makes it really easy. Um, I prefer this updated version of YouTube and then another, another cool thing is the Play Magazine and I don't have any magazines loaded, uh, but you can get any of those from the Play Store, and they seem to be pretty affordable, which is really cool. Uh, so guys, that is 
Jelly Bean for the Galaxy Nexus. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how to install it. Uh, like I said, very smooth. The only issues that I've run into is that 4G seems to be flaky on this. And there was also a Wi-Fi issue, but I'll try to include a link in the description on how to fix the Wi-Fi issue. To get Wi-Fi, but it's just not a very strong, solid signal. Uh, but like I said, there is a way to fix that, so we'll also... Uh, try to get a link in the description for that. Guys, you can subscribe to this channel right here for more Jelly Bean news and also more news on devices that are coming up. I'm getting a Galaxy S3 that's on pre-order and also have, like I said, two Nexus 7 tablets that are coming my way, one to cover on this channel and one to give away to one of you guys uh, who are subscribed to the channel. Uh, also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you've liked it. Leave comments below. What is your experience with Jelly Bean? Um, maybe you're on a device that doesn't even have ice cream sandwich yet. Um, comment on your frustrations about that or whatever in the comments below. Also, you can check out droidmoderx.com for the latest in Android and tech news. And be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.